Hi, my name is Nate McCullough on behalf of ExpertVillage.com. In this clip, we're going to talk about one of the braking components that needs inspected any time brake service is performed. The component we're going to talk about in this clip is your braking rotor. That's this large steel disc you see here. There are several things that can go wrong with this rotor. This vehicle in particular has been parked for an extended amount of time. As you can see, there's a large amount of surface rust all the way around the rotor. You can actually see where the pads were. That's where the rotor happened to be stopped when I parked the car. This amount of surface rust is going to ruin the rotor. You'll never be able to machine this out. You might be able to cut it out, but it's going to put it under specification. There's another tr uh, problem you may run across with a brake rotor if you do a lot of in-town driving. A lot of in-town driving, of course, requires a lot of stopping. That can build up excessive heat in this rotor and cause it to warp. If your rotor is warped more than five thousandths of an inch, that's .005, you will be able to feel it when you apply the brakes. The brake pedal will pulsate. When you apply it, it will push back at you. As the wheel rotates into the pads and you have them applied, that warp or fat spot will cause a hydraulic pressure surge. It will force the pads apart, cause that surge to go backwards through the system, through the master cylinder, and into your brake pedal. At higher speeds, you'll also notice a warpage when you apply the brakes in the steering wheel. It may cause the whole vehicle to shake and shudder, and you'll definitely feel it up front if it happens to be a front rotor. You'll feel it, the vibration transferred through the steering linkage into the steering wheel. And some of them can shake quite violently. If the warpage happens to occur only in the rear of the vehicle, you'll notice it more so in the seat or coming from the back of the vehicle. And there's another type of failure you're going to want to look for, which are any kind of cracks. That again is going to indicate excessive heat or excessive wear. If the rotor has been worn too thin from machine work, it's not able to dissipate its heat properly. When you machine a rotor, you're actually removing metal. You're making it a smaller, thinner part. In my opinion, it undermines the structural integrity of the rotor. It'll cause small, flake-style cracks to appear all over the surface of the rotor. That's one thing you're going to want to look for. It'll indicate a bad rotor and mean it needs replaced.